on the up for Nick Hind, who's a clever player. Look to link up with Dunstan. And Mills trying to go the other way, but a big up and under. And running at it is Bruce. And he's able to stick it as well ahead of Melican. Good start. Again, Elias stayed down. Trying to read the ruck work of Marshall. Swans get it towards McCartan this time, and the marks are sticking early, aren't they? It's interesting there. Good effort there by Tom McCartan. Not quite the mark completed. Trying to find a teammate out the back, and now McVeigh inside forward 50. Does the team thing, looks for Kennedy and finds him. That's what he's been about all his career, Jared McVeigh, doing the team thing. And understanding there for all to see, Menzel and Buddy. Now Papley keeps his feet. He's got two men over the top. They'll surely get a goal here. Robottom backed himself in and kept it. Parker found a little channel. Lovely kick to Ronk. Franklin's on the move. Ronk found him right in front. His buddy. That's his one first the first shot of the afternoon. Afternoon. They've been waiting for it. And they finally get it. Almost as another man on the mark. So Franklin from right in front to bring the house down in game 300. Listen to the roar at the SCG. Now Bruce being held down the line. Worked out for him anyway against Melican. Goes to a one-on-one -on -one deep and good body work from Membry. They came from everywhere that day as Sinclair finds his man. And Bruce was able to stay grounded that time. Rose, but Long stayed down. Read it well, he wants it back here, and he'll get the handball as well. Ben Long, time to straighten up. Tries to bend it back, and he's done so. That's the class this guy has off half-back. And they're right back in it, St Kilda, out of nowhere. The row, wheels and goes. Bruce trying to take a ride, Rampy over the top. And a chance at ground level, and St Kilda, in a flash, have leveled things up. Seb Ross with the finish. Florent found his man. Lloyd with a big kick forward. Now Blakey stayed down, read it well. And he had Kennedy wrapping around. A shot from 55 from the captain on the day, and it's a captain's goal from Josh Kennedy. Trying to fire up his troops. A wonky bounce, umpire content to let it roll. Hanabry to Ross, lowers the eyes. Good looking kick. He knew where Bruce wanted it. Kilda's last win in this fixture 2012 and here's Franklin to try and restore the Swans lead and another entry towards Franklin Brown again all over him Sinclair good clean grab and Clark oh brilliant Parker goes quickly towards McCartan or Menzel and McCartan's got it now how's that leg feeling Marshall again with strength. Oh, Parker is capable of soccering it out of midair, and again it worked out like he did for a goal of the year candidate last year or the year before. Now Ronk, McCartan, he's got teammates, but he'll kick a goal himself. He's got three, leading goal kicker in the game, and it's all the Swans right now. And killed over the top by Rampy. Ronk just left it for a teammate. That handball was easily read. A chance for multiple goals in this game, and he's got it. Seb Ross with another one. Not sure. Oh, Patley brilliantly read, and their leading goal kicker for the year comes up with another one, Tom Patley. Well played, 37 in 2019. Carlisle's not going to get there. He's got teammates heading towards the goal square, but Carlisle did well just to slow Patley down. Who goes to McVeigh, who can play on, and steady, and he does kick a goal in all 16 years in the AFL. What a farewell present from Jared McVeigh. That's exciting stuff. And look at his teammates celebrating with him. You can see what it meant to him. Just to be able to hit the scoreboard in his final game. He's been such a great leader of this club. As Ronk sets it up, chance for the Flyers, and Parker! As he does so often, <laughs> with a big climb, he times it better than most. Rampy to Lloyd. Uses Dawson again on his right side to pull the kick in towards Franklin. A second and third effort, and no free kick because he went easy Ooh, he's on the big man. Kieran Jack. Have a shot. The fans want him to go for goal. Kieran Jack, what a moment. <laughs> they both got a goal in the final turn. You have to almost 
break their arm to get them to actually change the way they kick the footy. Pat Lee saw Franklin out the back and Bunny will play on and have them on their feet at the SCG once more. Four for Franklin. Carlisle's not going to get there. He's got teammates heading towards the goal square, but Carlisle did well just to slow Patley down. Who goes to McVeigh, who can play on, and Steady, and he does kick a goal in all 16 years in the AFL. What a farewell present from Jared McVeigh. A second and third effort, and no free kick because he went easy Ooh, he's on the big man. Kieran Jack. Have a shot. The fans want him to go for goal. Kieran Jack, what a moment. <laughs> they both got a goal in the final turn. Rose, but Long stayed down. Ran it well. He wants it back here, and he'll get the handball as well. Ben Long, time to straighten up. Tries to bend it back, and he's done so. That's the class this guy has off half-back. And they're right back in it, St Kilda, out of nowhere. Out the back, and now McVeigh inside forward 50. Does the team thing, looks for Kennedy and finds him. That's what he's been about all his career, Jared McVeigh, doing the team thing. Lauren found his man. Lloyd with a big kick forward. Now Blakey stayed down, read it well. And he had Kennedy wrapping around. A shot from 55 from the captain on the day. And it's a captain's goal from Josh Kennedy. Trying to fire up his troops.